What's up guys, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And as you know, last night the 4.0.2 firmware was released for all compatible devices. These are the iPod Touch 2nd Gen, the iPod Touch 3rd Gen, and the iPhone 3G, 3GS, and iPhone 4. So as you guys know uh, from my tweets, if you're following me, so go follow me on Twitter if you're not already, uh, 4.0.2, the only thing in its change log, which means the only thing that's different in it, is it patches the PDF loading code hole that allowed jailbreakme.com to work. So a lot of you would know that that's what it needed to work. So for now, stay at 4.0 or 4.0.1, you'll be safe there, and your jailbreak will be intact. However, say you accidentally upgraded to 4.0.2, then this video will show you how you can downgrade back to 4.0, and uh, 4.0.1 depending on which one you want. Now the only catch is you must have been jailbroken on 4.0 or 4.0.1 and you must have saved your SH, SH file. If you're jailbroken most probably you did Insidia. All you would have to do is Insidia it would have said uh, da 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 do you want it to make your life easier? If you clicked, if you clicked make your life easier Insidia then your SH, SH file would have automatically been saved and you can proceed with the downgrade. So if you have all that set, it is very easy to downgrade back to 4.0 or 4.0.1 and from there you can jailbreak again using my video. So let's get into the downgrade right now. So just to show you that I'm on 4.0.2 on my device, I'm going to open up iTunes. And as you can see here, I'm using my iPhone 4 for this video. And you can see under software version, it says 4.0.2. Alright? So that proves to you that I'm on the firmware that we're discussing today to downgrade. And we're going to have to minimize out of iTunes for a little bit. We're going to have to do some preparation work. The first thing you want to do is download the firmware file and the software. Uh, the firmware file is going to be for whatever firmware you want to downgrade to. And this other one called Umbrella 4.0.1.08 is a software you might not need. If you have an iPod Touch and you're using this, you probably won't need it. But I download it anyways just in case, and I'll show you the use for it a little later. And if you're using an iPhone, there's a good chance you might need to use this. So I definitely recommend downloading the software um, if you are going to downgrade an iPhone. And I'll show you the use of it a little later when we need it. Alright? So you can download both of these from the two links in the description. Here is the firmware umbrella, as you can see here. And you want to go to Quick Links, and you want to click on Tiny Umbrella for your operating system. Uh, I obviously had Windows, so I clicked on Windows. And for firmware file, you go here, and for a 4.0 or a 4.0.1, you can directly go down. And under iOS 4, you have 4.0 direct links and 4.0.1 direct links. So you would click on the one for your device. If you wanted one for an earlier firmware, even for like 3.1.2 or 3.1.3, .3, uh, if you wanted to downgrade to an even earlier firmware, all you have to do is just uh, drag and click on one of these and then click download. But anyways, uh, we're primarily going to be downgrading to 4.0 or 4.0.1 so you click on your device and the firmware file is a little bit big, it's 500 meg so it might take a little while to download but once everything is downloaded into a folder on your desktop we're ready to go on to the next phase of the tutorial this is going to be going onto your uh, Windows Explorer if you have a Mac I'll put a link in the description that will show you how to do this with the Mac because it is a little different all you need to do is double click into the directory bar here and you want to paste this directory in here C Windows System32 Drivers etc that'll be in the description just copy and paste that and click enter and it'll be brought to this directory where you have these five files what you want to do is right click on the one that says hosts or you can just double click on the one that says hosts and you want to open it up with notepad now you want to make sure that you're an administrator for this and you want to run it as an administrator you don't have to run it as an administrator uh, if you're already an administrator, but um, if it has a problem saving, then you want to redo it and run it as an administrator. But for now, just double click. And what you want to do here, all you have to do here, is just copy and paste this last line here. It won't be there if you haven't downgraded before. This line of text will be in the description 74.208.10.249 space 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 gs.apple.com. That line of text will be in the description. Just copy it, paste it in the last line of Notepad, and click File, and click Save. And the file should save. Again, if it doesn't save, just run it as an administrator. And you can close out of it. And now we're done with this step. Now we're actually ready to start downgrading. We're going to open up iTunes. Now what we need to do is put our device into DFU mode, or recovery mode. 
this is the mode that iTunes is better equipped to uh, restore it. So what you want to do is, from the standby screen, hold down the home button and the power button together. Pass the screen where it says slides power off. Just keep holding both buttons down. And even when it switches off, keep holding the two buttons together. And when you see the Apple logo, you can let go of the power button, but keep holding on to the home button. And this will put our device into DFU mode. All right? And here we have the iTunes to USB screen, completely normal. And we're going to switch back to the screen recorder. Now here we have the screen. iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Click OK. And now what you want to do is click the Shift button on your keyboard and click on Restore at the same time. Now it's going to bring up a browse screen. What you want to do is browse for the firmware file you downloaded for it. As you can see, it's iPhone 31 underscore 4.0.1. Just double click on it, and it's going to say iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. Click Restore. And now your iPhone will be restored. I'm going to speed up this process. Now, if you get this error, the iPhone iPhone cannot be restored. An unknown error occurred. Especially if you're on the iPhone, no need to worry. This was very this was anticipated, and this is exactly why we got Tiny Umbrella. Click OK and we can minimize out. And your iPhone might look like this with the recovery screen still. That's completely fine. What you want to do is double click on umbrella and click run. And you might have this read me, just click OK. And here, at the end of the change log, after a little bit, it'll say, Recovery Device Detected. All you need to do now is click, click kick Device Out of Recovery. And our iPhone screen would have went blank, and it's going to start to boot up. This is a great function of Tiny Umbrella, to kick it out of recovery like that. It makes life so much easier. And now our iPhone or iPod Touch should boot up with the firmware we wanted to downgrade to. Thank you so much, Tiny Umbrella. I haven't even used that before, uh, that function of it, but it is just so cool. And you might get this loading bar, which happens the first time you restore, when you boot up. And yeah, your iPhone should boot up. You can close out of uh, Tiny Umbrella. In the beginning, if you have an iPhone, it might say, you need to activate it or whatever, but after you connect it to iTunes and iTunes pops up there, it should say iPhone is activated. Slide to unlock. Click dismiss. We can, of course, sync our music and applications back, but I'm going to go into settings, general, and about. And there we go, 4.0.1. It's that easy, guys. It wasn't that, I mean, if you follow the video, it's pretty easy. But I hope you found this video useful. If you did, all I ask is that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It lets you see whenever I make new videos and also helps my chances with YouTube programs and uh, promotions. Uh, other than that, you can also click the like button on this video. That would also help. And uh, if you want to favorite it, that's also much appreciated. And yeah, comment down below on how you like the video and what you think of the firmwares and anything like that, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching so much and I hope I really helped you. And I will see you guys later.